What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Uncle Frank's Beer Review with Team Beer Guts. It's Thirsty Thursday, and that means beer review time. So if you've been following us on Instagram, we've been putting up some pictures and things like that, and it's always fun. It's a good time. Uh, but I want to make sure I get some videos up so there'll be a link in the Instagram to this YouTube video. Hopefully you get to see it first just by being part of our YouTube family. If you're not part of the YouTube family yet and you've just kind of stumbled across this, please click, like, subscribe, share, all those fun things. What are we doing here? We are talking about beer. And specifically, we are talking about Oktoberfest beer. It is that season. Fall is in the air. It's a little cooler, a little crisp. Get ready to go out for those gravel bike rides where the leaves are starting to change colors. And what do you want? A good, refreshing beer after that. And it doesn't have to be some of the big, dank beers that we've always talked about in the past. So, what am I thinking about? I'm thinking about Oktoberfest. So, we're going to be talking Oktoberfest today. This is the Von Trapp Oktoberfest. This is out of Vermont. If you're like, Von Trapp, that sounds familiar. Hmm, that's right. Yeah, the sound of music. The hills are alive. Like, if I had really cool editing skits, I would put, like, the, the, the Julie Andrews, like, dancing thing and Spoonful of Sugar and all that stuff in there. I don't know how to do any of that. This is what the uh, vegan cyclists would ta uh, can call a turd biscuit, turd muffin, turd cookie, whatever it is. But it's not cycling related. This is a beer video, so it doesn't really matter. And we're going on one take. As we like to say in BMX racing, one lap, no crap. So let's just get this done. The Von Trapp Oktoberfest is a Martzen style. And again, we were talking before, if you missed the video before, I was talking about the different styles of Oktoberfest, where Oktoberfest is starting to deviate now more into the Martzen Oktoberfest and the Fest Beer Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest being the umbrella that covers them both. Still going to be malty, still going to be nice session beer. So we're going to find anywhere in between that 5.6, 5.7 on the low end, the 6.2, 6.3 on the high end of the alcohol scale. A little bit darker in color on one, a little bit lighter, and a little bit more crisp on the other. It can fall in between, and the ones that are super in between, those are hard to tell. But this one is definitely a Mertzen. Uh, so this is made in Vermont in a totally German style. If you're unfamiliar with Von Trapp, that's all they do is lagers. Even their IPA is an IPL, and they do that in a lager. And actually, I haven't seen that in a little while. Maybe it wasn't that well received. Maybe it was. I don't really know. But I know their Oktoberfest, Vienna Lager, they do a Helles, they do a Pilsner. They are talking about all the German and Vienna and those type of lagers. So 35 IBUs means it's going to be low on the bitterness scale. What do we got here? Let's take a look. I got my dimple mug. It's not a Mas Krug. Let's call it a half Mas Krug. I don't know if there's such a thing as a half Mas, but uh, 500 milliliters, which is roughly about 16 ounces. This is a 12 ounce can, so it's not going to fill it all the way. But you can say it's got a, or C, excuse me, it's got a beautiful color. We're looking not light and crisp, but not dark malty. Uh, dark malty. Dark amber, excuse me. And I'm just very excited because I'm talking about this beer uh, and I'm cooking dinner. So, uh, But your darkish amber colors that you'll see with some of those amber ales, your your bass ale kind of thing, that deep copper color, and then your light, like we were talking about the Hellas before, is more of that lightest Pilsner type colors. This is in between. This is hmm, shiny new pennies. That's what I'm going to go with, yes. Uh Hopefully it doesn't taste like Shiny New Pennies, and I have a pretty good idea that it will not. Oktoberfest Lager, again, give you a quick review on that. Malty, malt forward. It's going to be malty, but not sweet. It has malt sweetness, but not sweet, not like candy, not cloying. It should not sit on the back of the throat. And this does not. This does not disappoint whatsoever. Malt sweetness, and then it just dries out and the dryness comes from two things with it with beers in in this tradition decoction mashing which is a way of getting the malt sweetness there and uh enough hops you need hops to be able to balance this beer out so you 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 bitter it but it's not bitter it's balanced and then the malt is like hi it's my turn to shine so it's going to hang out out here and you get a little bit of malt sweetness to it. Aroma. Fresh malt. Like grain. 
Like as if you took a handful of Munich and Vienna grain and rubbed it in your hands and smelled it, that's what you're getting out of this beer. Noble hops. Not quite grassy, but definitely noble, earthy. I'm not getting the spice that you would get out of, say, a certain middle fruit or Czech saws or something like that. Malt sweetness. Uh, there's another flavor that's in there. I, I wish I could pick a word for it. Had I was drinking the beer before, that I could be like, oh, this is what it is, and I could tell you right away. All I can tell you is go find this beer. If you see Von Trapp Oktoberfest and you want a true to style Oktoberfest, you need to be able to find this beer and you need to be able to have this beer. It's it's true to style. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's It feels like it's super sessionable. You can just drink a bunch of this beer. It's fun. You put it in Steins. You put it in your Maskrug. You sing your drinking songs. Like this is This is what you want to have. Biscuit. That's the word I was looking for. Biscuits. Not quite bready, because bready can sometimes, uh, has a different mouthfeel connotation, uh, but biscuity, yes. So you got some biscuit, some earthiness, a little bit of herbal, a little bit of grass, malty sweetness, but not sweet, and then goes away. Like, not cloying, doesn't sit on the palate, makes you want some sausage, maybe some mustard, mustard and sausage. Uh, lots of them, and another beer. So, uh, I'm going to be popping out a few Oktoberfest-style videos throughout the month of October. Oktoberfest usually starts in September and runs through October. We can get a few of these done before Halloween hits. And uh, until then, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and drink good beer. Cheers! Or should I say, in this case, prost.